I got it! I figured it out! I figured it out! I figured it out! Guys, I've got it! Am I a Baylock? No. I figured it out! What? The shadow over Innistrad! It's Emrakul! Yes. And? And it's the mystery, the clues, the investigating the Eldritch Moon! Emrakul was spoiled like three weeks ago. Oh. Well, hey, I figured it out. That's better than I did. I was sure it was Merit Lage. Merit Lage was the obvious guess. I was hoping for Yogmoth. Yogmoth? If you knew anything about the lore, you'd see that they were clearly hinting that the madness on Innistrad was caused by Uncle Istvan wearing Urza's power armor. Tainted with Phyrexian oil. Oh. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called us here today. Frankly, I think that killing the Superman is a little beyond us, but I'm intrigued at the possibility. We are all good magic players, but as a group, we are not doing well in Sealed. The last time anybody on Team Loading Ready Run took down a pre-release was like Journey into Nyx. That's not how pre-releases work. And Cam and I were on fire at the Oath of the Gatewatch pre-release. No, that sweater just made me so hot it felt like I was on fire. You guys went two and three. Yeah, we won a pack! How did you split it? There was a fight. No, stop it, no! And this is why we're all going to brush up on Eldritch Moon before the pre-release. We tried this before, when M14 came out. It doesn't work. I went 5-0 at the M14 pre-release. Oh yeah. I went 0-5 at that pre-release. Oh yeah. Which means that obviously the theory behind pre-release prep was sound, but our implementation was shaky. Wait a minute, how do you expect me to do well at this pre-release? I don't see why you shouldn't if you learn the cards and the interactions. No, how do you expect me to do well at this pre-release when you have me contractually obligated to play Mono Black in every solo pre-release until 2017? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. No, you didn't. A uh, chase, blue-green clues every day. No clues! Fine, fine, I release you from your contract. Yes. On the condition that you prepare a 500 word report on Emrakul and the best offensive and defensive strategies that utilize her by this evening. Can we go back to the mono black thing? No. <laughs> Cameron, I need you to prepare a list of all instant speed combat tricks and sorcery speed madness cards that can be used as combat tricks. Oh. And Graham, I will need you to work out the statistical likelihood of opening both halves of every meld card and the optimal mana base is required to give you the best chance of drawing and casting them both on curve. No. Okay, everyone meet back here in, wait, where are James and Paul? Uh, last time I saw Paul, he said something about testing standard. How is that supposed to help Team Loading Ready run at the pre-release? That's not how pre-releases work. Sure it is. Okay, I'll keep looking. Ah, okay, James, what's the problem with standard? There's a problem with standard? There's no dominant archetype. That's not a problem. Sure, you have to be prepared for collected company, but last week at FNM, I had to fight red white tokens, green black control, blue red dragons, and Naya mid range. I reiterate this is not a problem. How are you supposed to sideboard against a healthy standard metagame like that? Dude, I don't know. Pick your battles, except that you can't cover every single angle. That's quitter talk. So I thought to myself, what would you get if you shuffled together the top four decks in standard? 16 Sylvan Advocates. The ultimate deck for today's uncertain standard environment. An answer for every problem. Is that a 200 card standard deck? No, it's a 240 card standard deck. Think, James. Okay. This deck has everything. Declaration in Stone, Languish, and Dramoka's Command. And because the deck is four times as big, I get four sideboards. That is not even remotely how that works. Are you sure? How did you qualify for the Pro Tour? If they play Gideon, I've got Negate. If they play Stasis Snare, no worries, I've got Transgress the Mind. Right. And what do you call this amazing new brew? Five color good stuff. Evocative. Hey, we've all had a few hours to work on our homework assignment, so let's start with a pop quiz for Cameron! Oh. 
You're swinging in and your opponent has two islands and a mountain open. What could they be representing? Uh, probably holding up Snapcaster for Lightning Bolt. It's fine. I made flashcards. Alex, let's hear your report. Emrakul the Promised End by Alex Stacy. Emrakul the Promised End is a magic card in the set Eldritch Moon. She is a 1313 for 13. She has flying, trample, and no way, protection from instance? Uh, uh, Emrakul is an Eldrazi, a big scary abomination from the blind eternities the space between the planes. They are filled with chaotic energy. I have not been to the Blind Eternities myself, but they sound a little like Disneyland, which I did go to when I was nine. Thanks, Alex. That was great. Oh, I'm not done. <clears throat> the highlight of my trip was when my brother ate so many churros he threw up on the Pirates of the Caribbean and they had to close the ride. Thank you, Alex. Graham. How did that statistical breakdown treat you? Oh, I did not do that, but I did prep a new round of Magic Card or Metal Band, because Eldritch Moon has given me a lot of new material. What? <clears throat> okay, first up, Alex, Mourn Willow. Magic Card. Now, Grim Flare. Kathleen, Grim Flare. Kathleen? Uh, okay, have, have fun at the pre-release, guys. Hey, is anybody going to FNM? No! Why? Dude, you can't take that pile to FNM. James, it's foolproof. That's why I asked you to come test with me. Dude, you can't expect to win with a 240 card standard deck. Of course I can. And it's 285 cards now. Turns out you were right about the sideboard, but I just couldn't bear to cut any cards. Well, normally I would be okay to walk away and just roll my eyes. I think I'm gonna really enjoy demonstrating in painful fashion why I think you're wrong. Bring it. all the answers. James, this deck is literally all answers all the time. Yeah, I understand why, but how? It's it's statistically unlikely. Now you know the power of five color good stuff. That's not even a good deck name. Nope. Hey Paul, good morning, happy Monday. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, good morning. Hey, how was FNM? James said you had a cool new brew. Yeah, five game losses due to slow play. Shuffling. Oh, okay. How was the pre-release? Oh, it was great. I went three and two, which is about what I hoped for. Uh, I beat Kathleen in round one, and then she had to drop. Why? Did you know it's medically possible to get so angry you go temporarily blind? Hmm. <laughs> They're running another pre-release flight tonight at like 7. You going to run it back? Yeah, I think so, but I want to try something first. I think there's a different deck in this pool that I didn't see when I was building earlier. You mind if I try it against you? Yeah, go for it. Cool, I just need to get different land. All right. Put that mana down. Mana's for casters only. Do you think I'm messing with you? I am not messing with you. I'm here from R&D. I'm from Rosewater and Forsyth, and I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Cameron? Yeah? You call yourself a planeswalker, you scrub? I don't have to listen to this. Oh, you certainly don't, pal. Cause the good news is you've already lost. And the bad news is you've got, all you've got, is one afternoon to figure out how this is gonna go. Have I got your attention now? Good. Let me tell you how this pre-release is gonna go. First prize. 16 packs of Eldritch Moon. You want to know what second prize is? Second prize? Eight packs of Eldritch Moon. Third prize? Four packs. This LGS pays out two and three. 
Any worse than that? And you get nothing. My draws were bad. My draws were bad? My draws were bad. Your deck is bad. I've been in this game 15 years. What's your name? Get wrecked, that's my name. You wanna know why? Because you didn't even sleeve your deck and I brought mine here in a bespoke wooden deck box. That's my name. And your name is let's just have fun because you can't play a serious game. And then you'll go home to your playgroup and tell them about your bad beats because only one thing counts in this life and that's getting them to sign their match slip with a zero next to the line that says win. Do you hear me, you casuals? A, always. B, B, C, casting. Always B, casting. Always B, casting. C, A, B, S, cards that affect the board state. You wanna mess around with do-nothing enchantments? Pure life gain spells? Like heck you do, because it's win or walk. Well, gee thanks, you're obviously such a great player, winning so much, why are you coming down here and wasting your time on a bunch of bums? You see this deck? Do you see this deck? Yeah. These sleeves are more valuable than your entire sealed pool. Where are you buying your sleeves? I won a PTQ last year. What did you win? You see, pal, that's who I am. And you, you're nothing. Nice player? Get wrecked. Go home to the kitchen table. You want to play? Cast. Oh, you think this is abuse? You, you think this is abuse, you top decker? You can't handle this. How can you handle the top eight? You don't like it? Leave. I can go out there tonight with the pools you opened go 5-0. Tonight. In five rounds. Can you? Can you? Go and do likewise. C-A-B-S. Get mad, you scrubs. Get mad. You know what it takes to win a pre-release? It takes brass bombs. That's super not how pre-releases work. The winds are out there. You pick them up, they're yours. You... I have no sympathy for you. Because you get out to those matches tonight and cast, cast. If not, you'll be shuffling my deck. Bunch of losers sitting around the back tables. Oh yeah, my deck was great, but I didn't draw my bomb. These are the dual lands. The Boros lands. The Golgari lands. And to you, they cast gold. And you don't get them. Why? Because to give them to you is throwing them away. And because you also have to have opened them in your pool. And they're for casters. I'd wish you good draws, but you wouldn't know what to do with them anyway. And to answer your question, pal, what am I doing here? I'm here because R&D asked me to. They asked me for a favor. A real favor? I say, take my advice and ship your cards because a loser is a loser. Who the f was that? <laughs>